okay so welcome everyone in this particular lecture so today's lecture is on matplotlib and again i am kazia varoshan from indian association for the cultivation of science jadavpur kolkata so what is our goal today so our goal today is to understand what is matplotlib okay okay so it is a plotting library as we know but we want to drive into much more detail so let's start Okay, so matplotlib. So what is matplotlib? It is a mathematical plotting library for Python. Okay, so it is a plotting library which can create static, animated, or interactive visual pictures in Python or animations in Python. Now, what is its use in astronomy? So in astronomy, it is normally used for data visualization. Okay, so like an example, we can plot something like this, like we have discussed in the previous lecture, and a typical code for this type of plot which is normally called line plot that is the red line is uh, given as something like this okay now it is not all there are other different types of plots like you can only plot the points like shown in this particular image or in the previous image and this type of images or plots are called scatter plots and a typical example of code to do that is uh, something like this okay but still it is not all you see it is, these are normally like uh, 1d functions okay so we can also draw 3d functions but in astronomy we use something like this which are called density plots okay that is you assign each uh, color to each pixel and this type of plots uh, typical code to create this type of plots are uh, something like this okay okay so let's uh, see few examples but before that let's discuss how are you going to create these plots what is the idea behind it So now let's start with a little bit of talk on basic plotting okay so let's suppose we have an axis x and y and let's say that i want to plot a function which is like uh, y equals to f of x equals to x square something like this okay now to plot this what we do we take certain values of this x and see what are the corresponding values of the y and then we point or point out those particular positions that is 0 0 1 1 and 2 4 like that and then we connect those using a straight line okay because we don't know the shape i have just uh, extended it in a negative direction also okay but it is not giving us the correct plot so what we do we include two more points and we update the graph and it becomes much more closer to what it should be okay so in matplotlib basically line plot does the same thing we just take too much points so that is the basic idea in real life we live in three dimensional space right and uh, most of the times we are dealing with two dimensional functions so for that in matplotlib you can draw uh, three dimensional shapes but in astronomy we do not do that normally we use something called color plot where the value of the output function is uh, colored and colored mapped to certain value okay something like this and then we squeeze it in a xy plane and hence we get the density plot or maybe contour plot something like this okay so i hope the idea is clear so now let's head back to jupyter notebook and let's see or let's do a little bit of live coding okay so let's start now with the notebook now uh, you can later go through this particular notebook what I am going to do is I am going to just discuss the basis or basic things of matplotlib because in the end uh, in astronomy we are just going to use it in data analysis right so the basic ideas are much more important so I will be just going through those particular things okay so like we have discussed that what is matplotlib and to use matplotlib you have to first import it and normally by convention it is imported as plt and we are also importing numpy because numpy is going to be useful and uh, i will be recommending this particular thing that is a uh, science plot for using in scientific plots for different journals and things like that because it looks a little bit nicer so i will suggest you guys to also import it but uh, it has some problem if you are trying to plot something 3d okay so first thing let's let's suppose we want to plot y equals to x square function so see we are creating a array and it contains this particular values 
and then we are just squaring each of these quantities and to plot it you just have to use plt dot plot x values and y values that is x coordinates and y coordinates and then you just write plt dot show and for normally if you want to run this particular code you need to do that but uh, for Jupyter notebook you don't need that without it even it works fine okay so i will get a plot like this and you can clearly see there are not enough points so there are like sharp corners right and they're corrected by straight lines just like we have discussed so if i just increase the number of data points like a hundred then it becomes very much smoother right something like that and you can also change the plotting style like uh, it is used by ls which stands for like line style and i have given two dashes so it is like a dashed line right and i have set the color as red so you can see it and it is also works for plots right okay and there are some other things which you can look into the documentations i can change the line width and things like that okay now you can clearly see that i have not used uh, like uh, pl.show but it is still showing me but okay so it is something i just already told you guys and you can also change the figure size by this particular argument okay again uh, we can actually add different types of plots or maybe two different plots in a single figure something like this for that you can just basically just use like plots two times okay but here to use two different plots you have to name which one is which so either you can use a different design like uh, use here but i here i have also added label you can add label to each of these particular graphs like uh, for the green one it is cos and for the blue one it is sine but to do that you also have to add this extra line okay and this use stands for how many columns are there like here there is only one column and you can control the font size and you can also add titles and labels it's up to you okay now there are other arguments i have written it here you guys can just take a look into that okay and you can like i said you can basically just plot many graphs and here it should be much more clear what this n column stands for like here it is two so this means there are two columns okay and to save your plotted figure you just need to use plt.savefig and then you just name whatever uh, what is the name of the what is the name of the file you want to be saved as and also the format you can i can just write here png and it will save the this particular plot as a png file something like that okay now you can also plot like i said the scatter plots which only plot the points data points rather than just connecting them with a line and for that you everything is basically same almost all possible arguments you have seen before works pretty fine you just have to use scatter in place of plot that's all you have to do okay and there is some other thing you can control the y limit like here i have set the y limit as 2 this means that the highest value of the y axis will be plus 2 something like that okay again there are many more things like you can import the data using pandas because like there is an some data which uh, from one of my experiments from our laboratory which is called frank Hertz experiment okay so you guys can take a look into that particular thing maybe you if you guys are interested in modern physics which i think you, you guys should be and i have just imported data using pandas you guys can actually you guys will be learning this particular thing in the respective lectures and then i have just plotted it so you see i have used the scattered plot okay something like you can also plot histograms as shown here okay you can also just only plot the boundary of the histogram again you can also plot sub figures that is uh, you can just uh, add different figures in it one single figure it is called sub figures and this is the code for doing that but one thing should be clear that to do that you have to separate the axis and the figure arguments okay and this is the way to do that i have just given one simple example you guys can again play around with it okay now what about the 2d plots like i have discussed so for that we use mesh grid 
and what misgrid does is that it takes two arguments and it creates a xy plane okay so every single point in the xy plane so that you can plot the two dimensional data okay so so it takes make Mesh grid takes two arguments x and y and it returns correspondingly two arrays x and y okay so i have written here xv and yv it creates the grid and using that you can just basically plot contour f and then you just give x values y values and the corresponding z values and it can give you guys the plot you can also change the label to actually uh, decrease this particular transitions or the or make it much more smoother like shown here i have used like 50 labels here and some different color mapping that's all i have done okay and you can see which color actually associates to which value by using this particular argument which is color bar okay so something like this you can on, also only draw the contours with the values it is it is possible and it is here rather than using contour f you just use contour okay and uh, you can also plot error bars like uh, in some cases we need error bars so fine so and you can also run this one i have not run this one because due to the scientific plot there will be a little bit of issue here so i have not plotted but it will run smoothly if you don't import that particular file okay now in astronomy what can you do we have just seen this particular thing in the previous lecture you can basically just import like data like here i have imported the spectroscopy data and i have plotted so using matplotlib you can actually plot the data and also can draw lines corresponding to it is absorb absorption or emission you can just mark those particular things and cause and which corresponds to which elements using a label these things can be done you can i have also used uh, like uh, gaia to take out the data and plot a color map of stars which is called hr diagrams you guys may have seen this particular things so all of these particular things are actually possible using matplotlib but see matplotlib is just a plotting library nothing more so if you just understand the fundamental i think these things are pretty much fine so i am just showing you guys few things okay so you can also plot this particular thing which i have already used in the previous expression uh, previous lecture where i have just used the example data file to actually plot this particular data okay so these are the few things which you can actually do using matplotlib